Tomorrow morning, the governor will release his revised budget, but tonight the battle is underway as people and organizations scramble to get a big piece of that pie. Good reason for that. The state is pulling in $3 billion more than it expected, so gone are the days of massive cuts. But the governor still wants lawmakers to keep spending under control. We have a live look at the state capitol where the building has been a hub of activity as people try to convince lawmakers to fund their programs. KCRA 3's Mike Lurie has a look at the budget battle. California is flush in cash, with the state taking in $3 billion more this year than projected. Most of those new revenues are going to go to schools. And up and down with the tail. Under voter approved Prop 98, the lion's share of the extra money, billions of dollars, must go to California's public schools, from kindergarten to community colleges, and much of the rest will go towards drought relief. The other big winner, California's Rainy Day Fund, will get millions more under Prop 2 that voters approved last fall. But at the Capitol today, there's huge pushback from groups fighting poverty. Food bank advocates like Nicole Miller of Oakland, who want the state to offer more help for the working poor. People are working like three jobs to, to make ends meet and still not making a living. And the California Legislative Women's Caucus is asking Governor Brown for an extra $600 million to create new child care slots for working parents. We cut over a billion dollars during the recession, and that was already an underfunded program. That could mean more. More money for child care providers like Nancy Gray, who runs this daycare business in Citrus Heights. I think it would uh, give me the security I need because I am a single income here to support my family, um, do more improvements for the children. Early education advocates say it would be a big win for everyone. It's a win for our children, it's a win for our teachers, and it's a win for the state. But Governor Brown is concerned that California's economic recovery is fragile. This isn't going to last. The average economic expansion in California has been about five years. We're more than a year past that right now. We know another recession and downturn is coming. We just don't know when. But pressure is building on Governor Brown to spend more, and most of that pressure coming from within his own party. At the state capitol, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.